Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Venture here from Slackers to Cover, bringing you Nino Kuni 2 again. Back. About to go see Mr. Manta Pugnacious himself. Let's go. Move the mic back a little bit more this time, because last time I had some crazy p p p popping last time. I don't have a pop build, just a pardon. Pardon the popping. What's up, pa Pugnacious? A.K.A. Pugnasty. Mm. So, Envoy of Niao, what brings you here? We've come to ask you to return his farce to him. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, but of course. He has sent you to beg for it on his behalf. And why would I simply return it? I won it from him in a game of chance. It was his fortune and willed it. Was it? We couldn't help noticing how much cheating goes on in the supposed kingdom of chance. Hmm? What are you implying? It was on the dice rule of Lady Luck herself that Nyal gambled. Huh? Our friend outside may have been capable of base trickery, but the mistress of fortune, I think not. So he wasn't even playing with her Piflin casino dices. Hmm. No, the one we saw in the ceremony was much bigger. That doesn't mean someone could have could have messed with it. You would accuse our most sacred symbol of trickery. It is a preposterous idea, but you are welcome to examine her if you please you. If it would please you. But I would warn you to proceed with the utmost care when doing so. The people of Goldpaw will not take as much intrusion lightly. Thanks. Thanks. I think we'll take you up on that. Come on. I don't trust Pugnacious, despite him being kind of transparent. Oh, <laughs> I'm curious. These outsiders do not know their place. Yes, Master. Indeed, Master Pugnacious. We must be on our guard. Mandarin's the guy behind it all. <sighs> I think Pugnasius thinks it actually is legit, and Mandra's the dude pulling the strings. Father, I really thought we were onto something there. <sighs> yeah, we're right back where we started. No. Not quite. Pretty sure if we look hard enough, we'll find something not quite right with late luck. If you say so, let's go and have us a gander, shall we? Nationwide scandal? Take a closer look at Lady Luck. Not too close. She is a lady, after all. Hmm. Bet you don't see many kingmakers doing this, eh? You find anything, Lofty? Nothing much, no. Unless you count the biggest flipping jumble of wards and charms and magic pill and doodads I've ever seen in my life. Other than that, wood's nice, all smooth and shiny. Yeah, it's quality stuff, this. Hmm. So nothing's amiss at first glance, huh? I can't see why he's happy for us to come take a look. Hmm. All those words and things would mean that you couldn't influence the rules using magic, wouldn't they? I guess so. What I'd really like to know, uh, what to do is sneak a peek inside. But I get the feeling we wouldn't make ourselves too popular if we smashed the thing open. How dare you! Cease this outrage at once! Lady Luck's sacred statue is no place for your pet to play! Oi! Who would you call a pet, Palio? Master Pugnacious gave us permission to look at the die and... and make sure there's no funny business going on. Hmm. Ah, is that so? Very well, very well. The greed of which he ensures Lady Luck's an unimpeachable integrity is admirable indeed. It sure is. I bet the statue must take some serious looking after, huh? And that die, too. Oh, yes! Exactly, exactly. You are a young friend, but you understand much. Why, only recently his eminence became concerned with the decidedly worn condition of the die he'd, uh, we'd always use, and replaced it with an entirely new one. And no expense was spared in its making. He dispatched a delegation of our most highly respected craftsmen to the deepest part of the forest in search of the finest wood available. Uh-huh. He did, huh? Now then. 
But listen to me chatter on. I'm sure you're a busy man already without me bothering you. Nice to meet you, young man. How recently? Was it three months ago? He meant the first of Niall, I suppose. Seems like he's going a mite overboard, sending all these craftsmen so far out of the way. Don't it? I just realized it was bought to him, sorry. Uh, do you think it was them who stuck all those notice thingies in the trees? I don't know, but I think we should go back there and look around a little more. Alright, let's head back to the first of Niall and hunt for clues. Kill things on the way. Let's do that. Things need to die. We're exactly the people to do it. Oh boy, let's go kill many things. I like to imagine that Evan is just like a little bit of a psychotic killer. Rubs the lotion on its skin or else he gets the hose again. Goodbye, horses. There's a warpy thing somewhere by the casino, yes. Actually, wait, do I need to... Do... I think I need to actually talk to a warp thingy to warp. You're wrong about that. I've never actually used it. If any, there's one right by the start of the town, so I can do that. Right down the road, though, off the side, we can warp from there. Right. 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 Somewhere. It's somewhere over here. I know it is. Maybe. Oh, you, you big. Oh, uh, Quinchilla Banger. Eh, it would hurt to kill something. Wow, dead. I thought I leveled us up to be a little bit ahead of things, but... No, 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 ow. Oh, surprise attack. We're like right on par you with ready things, for level 18. Beat this. I leveled up, that was easy. Maybe we are a little open leveled. I mean, we're about on par, so... I think we might just be lucky out with weapon types. Versus our enemies. A grim chilla. It looks like a grim chilla burger to me, and it's making me really, really hungry. Mmm, grim chilla burger. And you and all those flans running around over here. Lawn and burger, that's a horrible combination. There's an actual way up over here. Yep, nah, may, no, probably not. The chest, though. An angel's tear. Can't actually get down from here. Like I said, we're gonna have at some point water travel. No, it's not something I can get up from. Darn it! Totally get down over there. But at the rate I'm just getting junk out of chess. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wonder wood, water, wonder, wonder, water wood. Wonder the water wood. We got that chest, we got a wyvern, a big dude in the background. Uh, we're gonna have to probably fight the skeleton, let's get to do it. Do it. Hey, what is that over there? It looks like ruins. Let's swim by and take a look at that. <laughs> It's a Sylphie, it's just a fire type, essentially. So that's what it looks like. 
lofty. Yeah, what is this? What are you over here? Look like just a something broken, but you never know. It might be a, a point of interest. Uh, oh, it is. So the building collapsed on itself many years ago. You won't be able to go inside in its current state, but that makes me think that maybe you can go in it later. Perhaps, perhaps not. I need to take the trash out because it smells oddly of cheeseburgers in here. And it's probably bad that it's making me hungry. <laughs> the moment when your trash is making you hungry. Jeez. No coffee and no breakfast makes <laughs> Dust Bunny a dull boy. Though it is close to lunchtime at this point. When I say closer, I mean it's close to dinner at this point. I don't time well. <laughs> okay, I need to go. With, oh yeah, a mantico. Okay, let's just kill the mantico. Yo, mantico. I'll do my best. Cross chop you. <laughs> Face. That uh, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't do much. Shoot him in the face! The butt. Nice. Grab some money. Fierce fur. 34 bucks. That's like. Only like. Eight more of those so we can buy some food from the place in the fancy neck of the neighborhood. Oh, no. Get me oh We're going backwards. We're going backwards. Ignore me. I disregard the fact I got turned around, please. Darn these circles. Pork chopper down there, it would also be tasty. But I hate fighting you guys because you are a pain in the butt. You're gonna fight me, you're gonna fight me, you're gonna fight me. You didn't fight me? Grim Chilla, no. Ah, fine. Grim Chilla is at least easy to fight. Do we have magic? We do. Come We're on! Dead. <laughs> Nice. You get a blue drop out of it. Pikmin are happy about something. Profit Profitable whirlwind boots makes me feel like it's maybe yeah! wind resistance. Do your work. Oh, 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 this guy is blue. Okay, profitable whirlwind boots makes me feel like it's gonna be, um... <sighs> How good are they compared to this? Drops. See, wind resistance are probably drops from money. Hmm, boost. Money drop by foes. Sweet. But I feel like, versus what we got everyone wearing... Yeah, we're, we're all wearing better stuff. Bountiful's better. Experience earned. I, I like you learning more experience because you're catching up to everybody. So it's not going to help us out that much. Now I know, I know, I know. I probably could have just warped back. But 
Man, you ready for this? Man, experience. Oh, blue is there just slightly too easy for us, I think. Dude, what just hit him for 723? That's nuts. One of you guys is getting powerful. It's not me. But one of you guys is getting powerful. I'm almost 20. I'm so close to 20. Yo, 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 give me 20 or give me death. Please give me 20. I don't I'll want do to come back. I mean, but. I am so. Die, uh, death. It is then. You're too far away, goodbye. We'll kill something on the way to Meow. Though I don't think we're actually going to Oh, we're going to, to talk to Meow. Meow. Meow, that's right. Meow, that's wrong. If we can kill something on the way. The place it is over here. Right past this giant shroom of doom. Come fight me, bro. Just need this again. Nice. That's how you level up around here, folks. Oh my gosh, there's loot, but it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Oh, what's up? Hey, I'm 20. Sweet. Uh, I need to unlock the door in a minute. I think the missus will be home shortly. We gotta talk to Meow. Meow. Hey, you're, you're not here anymore. Let me guess. Meow went to go talk to some spirit divine elsewhere. Oh, no, he's right here. What up, Neil? Hey! You're back, eh? How'd it go with old Puggy? Hmm. Well, we didn't quite manage to get your forest back yet. <clears throat> but we did find out the game's rigged all the way to the top. Jinx! I knew it! The crafty wee roasters. Now what I need to do is get some proof that there's funny business afoot with Lady Luck as well. You haven't noticed people from Goldpaw doing anything strange in the woods lately, have you? Well, they were up to something over the old, the old woods there, but to be honest, there have been many a beggar trip seen in and out. Couldn't keep track of it all. Maybe it's where they're making the dice. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Listen. Hold your horses, laddie. You're not to be getting anywhere near the old woods unless you can cast quicken growth. What's that? It's a spell, you great pimpot. You never heard of it? Ah, kids these days. Here, I'll teach it to you. Men's like grow mushrooms to use as... Uh, stairs. What kind of spell is it exactly? Can you figure it out from the name? It makes plants grow fast. Cast that wee beauty on a tiny seed and it'd be a tree as tall as a house before you can blink. Pass a pain to get through down that way. You sling that spell on a few toadstools, you'll find it going a bit easier. Thanks for the tip, Twig Twig. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil. Right, oh, let's we're off to Aldwoods. I wouldn't sound so pleased about it if I were you. Monsters around there have been a heck pain in the neck lately. Sweet. Monsters all over the place, and we have the ability to grow the good. They have debts too. Everybody's got debts around here. So I remember right, it was up here. Yes. Let's kill him and go. Kill him. Kill him and Jaro. Nice. Well, we 
got the key to this door, essentially. Thanks to the story. Ooh, shiny. And I'm blind. Oi! Instant blind. The eviction notice is out of the tree. I mean, that's great. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, pardon. I'm pretty sure we just went this way to get through here, and now you're like, whatever. We're just gonna. Or did I not? Was I not supposed to go up the ladder? Well, yeah, this is how I got up here. What light am I looking at here? Yes. Um. I feel like I've missed something very, very simple. There wasn't a chest up here. Plus, this just isn't the way to go, which is also a possibility, but. What? Okay, look, look, look. I, I'm, I'm open to interpretation on this. We'll just go that side. There's. Maybe. No, no, no. Double check. Double check. Double check. Always, always be double check. I see it. Turn your curves to the left over here. I missed this. Thank you. Oh man, it is twisty as. Well, it's gonna say balls. Balls aren't really twisty. If you have twisty, twist best. balls. You see, Doc. That's called testicular torsion, and it's a real problem. Nice. Victory's mine. You guys are adorable, okay? I said that yet? We are. A base bone dropped by a base bay. Some, someone. Not by someone. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I, I think I see another grow point over here. Are you a grow point? You are, aren't ya? <laughs> Give me that cutscene, sir. What's our time looking like? Because I kind of wasn't paying attention. We're good, about another 20 or so. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's probably a chest this way. What you know? That's a chest. Lumber. I can complain. We're supposed to be building a kingdom, so all the lumber we get, bigger kingdom. Uh, it goes everywhere. Oh, who? Right there. Don't, don't you guys dare block me up here. I'm scared of heights. There's just so much gatherable junk to just walk by. Oh. That happened. I could just so much loot. I love it so much loot. All the shinies in the world for everything we need. Okay, free box. Might be something important, might not, given that it's right here. Warped the old woods and a free save spot plus mana. Take the mana where you can get it. 
Man, like so you just walk into large groups of mobs and just one shot everybody. Yeah, there's a house back here. Is this Niall's summer home? Ew. But wow. this is very gold paw ish. Wow, they've been busy. Mm. So this is where they're making the di the trick dies. How shall we do this? Charge and shout our heads off? No. No, we can't draw attention to ourselves. As the only humans out here in the forest, we need to slip in undetected and find out what they're doing. Hide yourselves! Some swabs are coming. Why did they have to build it so far away? Huh. Fool, when he closed to the people of the city would surely discover it. They're from Goldpaw. They must <laughs> be it. <laughs> oh, they must be. Arr, I've been mighty fine ideal all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I think I might be thinking what you're thinking. Kill them all. Huh? Oh, apparently that's what we're doing. Guess I should expect so much from a pair of sky pirates. Are you sure this will work? Only one way to find out, lad. We'll s s keep watch out here. Off you go and sneak into that dead dice factory. It's a tiny building. This don't be long too long, all right? Guess we don't have much choice. Come on. Right. We'll totally fit in. You guys totally blended. Let's go. <sighs> Phew, I'm sure he's gonna see through our disguise. We well, did. Looks like this is my work. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, we need to at least get two forms of proof. First is something trying pugnacious directly to the deception. Tying. Some kind of documentary evidence would be ideal. Next is evidence of how they're manipulating the dice. My guess is they're not using magic. Oh. Really? But how else could it be done? <laughs> Oh, there are ways. We have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance where I'm from. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody here has come up with something similar. All right. All right, let's find that proof. This guy should help us get close to the people and find some clues. Mm, got a clue right here. Clue that I'm... Um... Yeah, okay, it's a door. It's actually a door, not a clue. Huh? Where's the spare control unit? I'm certain I left it here on the table. Yep. My superior told me recently that despite appearances to the contrary, these devices are not actually powered by magic. It says that in fact they rely on technology that we imported from another kingdom. I'm not sure I believe them, it just looks like magic to me. Hmm. How dare you, I'm not idling, I have something important to do. What about you? Shouldn't you be getting back to work also? It's a workbench used to make trick dice, there's nothing particularly special about it. Huge pile of trick dies for use in the casino. I don't have anything to do with Lady Lux die, though. Hey there! How many dies have you made today, friend? I'm feeling especially productive. I think I may even break my daily record. Are they selling this all over the world? <sighs> I'm sick to the back teeth of churning out regular dice day after day. Why will you finally be allowed to work in the trick dice department? Ow. Different departments. This is. There's no door over here. There's no door, this is just a room. Tis a room of ordinary dice. And some sort of scary looking forge. Like. What king did you guys ship this from? Midgar? Hey there! You there, have you seen my blueprints? Mm, you don't even know what blueprints are, forgive me. Should have taken better care of them. For the blueprints, there's nothing very incriminating here. Uh. There, all the dice meet the card standard. That's this week's quota met. So now it's time to relax. Arf arf. 
Yes. Gold Paul has long been famous for its tricks and contraptions, you know. It's our job to take all the knowledge and use it to create even more exciting dice. And only we high officials of the realm are permitted to the privilege of working with them. Such an honor. Such a great honor. If you might being high paid, non paid slaves, huh? This is. Oh, his propo proposal suggesting a few improvements to our basic yeah. dice design. Can I go on making the same old thing forever? After all, we should be seeking out new ideas all the while. So these guys are actually, like, committed to the core of improving what they do. I can dig it. Yeah. Yo, you must excuse me. I'm rather busy at the moment. I must assemble all the necessary documents that are to process the factory accounts. Sometimes I regret choosing your work in the accounting department. Constantly hounded by everybody and never a word of thanks. Thank you. It's a huge pile of trick dice for use in the casino. They don't seem to have anything to do with Lady Lux dice, though. So we need to find. Looks like a tool that's been used by workers here. Doesn't look really suspicious. Obtained a set sign of instructions. Oh! Look at this. It was in the drawer. That's Pugnacious' signature at the bottom. Uh huh. Looks like instructions of what we want. What he wants them to build. Guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Lucky for us, somebody didn't do their job. That's certainly undeniable proof. Wonderful. Now we must still need one more piece of proof. The dice for manipulating Lady Lux's dice that you were talking about. Yeah, there must be a prototype or a spare around here somewhere. Let's ask around. Oh. 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 Ow, oh, ow. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is a proposal. We've already talked to you. We've already talked to you, sir. I already thought I asked everybody everything. But let's go back over here now that we have this new information in hand. I, I talked to you. I did talk to you. Huh. Workbench, nothing particular. Was this guy here last time? <sighs> yeah, 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 he was. Hey there! Okay, he's the one that's like, hey, I've been working on dice. Yeah. Looks like magic to me. Patrol unit. Another one lying around, though. Is it here? Plenty of interesting objects in the shelves, but none of them appear to be evidence of wrongdoing. There's one. Obtained remote device. Oh. Roland, look. Huh. That must be it. Based on all that stuff, it looks like what I thought. Remote control for Lady Lux to dice. It's just like you said. <laughs> A lucky guess, anyway. Pugnacious must have one of these. So this is how he keeps the taxes so high. And how he stole Niall's forest from him? Sure seems that way. It's also how we're going to make him pay. That's everything we need. Come on, let's get out of here. And we fight our way out. Or not. Unauthorized intruders detected initiating attack sequence. You guys, oh my goodness! Oh. Tiny bot. Blimey! Looks like we got rumbled. It's this horrible thing doing out here anyways. I don't like our chances, Gurley. God, they're trapped. Come on! Then we have to help them. Let's beat this thing with our fists. Because, you know, weapons, why? I dig it that it's a plant with floating balls. Mossy Monument, the architectural monstrosity. There's a lot of monstrosities in this game, I'm noticing. Wait, why am I playing as him? Oh, gosh. Help me out, please. Okay. 
alive. Yeah, how about how, how about we? Why don't you target it? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. More animals. Homing spheres. I've got nothing. On you. Later. We drop some red. Nice. Hey, give me that red thing. Oh. Phew. I thought my goose was cooked there for a second. Looks like the people of the factory didn't notice the racket either. We got lucky there. Well, did you find your precious proof? Mm. Yes, we found the device pugnacious used to control the dice movement. Arr, that's the stuff, lad. Now we can hang the swindling dog out to dry. Yeah, we sure can. With this thing to help us, we'll be able to expose him for the fraud he is. Evan, I need you to be sure you're okay with this, what we're about to do. Or it'll be inter interfering directly in another country's affairs. If it doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they go really badly, you could be making an enemy of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. You cannot stand by and let that happen. We have to give the citizens of Gopal their country back. That's the stuff, man! Hey, it's the spirit, yeah. Evan, lad. Yeah, I knew you'd let, you wouldn't let him walk out all over. Oh, hey. You grow more cleanly by the day, your majesty. Uh-huh. You really are starting to sound like a king, you know that? Alright, our leader has set out his policy. And now it's time to implement it. And now... Give me, give me this red, please. Watery Barrage Bow. Nice, we can give that to our... I'm still using plain stuff over here. Watery, critical hits more chance, imbues weapon with water. It's not, it's not water chance, it is just flat out water damage. Nice. Do we have any... Better. We have a massive mallet. We'll do massive. Nice. Um, do we have anything else? I mean, close range ring is melee attacks, so that's good. Hearty pendant, that's that. What is this right here? Champion's ring? Strength is all attacks. Ew. I'm gonna drop this over on this dude. We ain't getting anything fancy. Anything else fancy? Nah, still using the fancy stuff I've got. Already right, penetrate guard. Yeah, all the stuff we got. Okay, heavy ammo. Uh, unleashes a blast of dark energy that is perfect for bringing down airborne foes. Okay. Hadn't really looked that one up yet. Good to see. Change outfit. Change outfit? Don't have any more outfits. Okay, fair enough. Um, we haven't picked up any better weapons. Feisty Wolf France. Ooh, 58. Hot diggity dog. Um, we'll, we'll switch this off for that one. Dangerous blunder busted. Uh, Brawl 27, tiny bit better. It's not really worth it, honestly. Still using all. I mean, I've had better armor than that, but I like it that it boosts the money drop, I suppose. Um,. Uh, Plus, it has really good magic resist, actually. Um, just using that. Still using close range ring as well. Though, we've got Breezy. And we got each of the elemental things. Got that. We're good. Uh, what, what's our time looking at, real quick? I'm just trying to finish this up before the misses. Uh, no, we, we, we gotta go accuse Pugmaster B. Pug nasty of his cheating. How does one teleport though? Trip door map. There we go. Comlands, go pa. Um, Fortune Square. We can go right 
right to the point. It doesn't cost us any money, it just costs us a load screen. That's really good! That's really good. Like, real awesome. Yay. Let's go. Yo, Pug Nasty. You gotta have a talk, you and me. Bing, 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 do. Hey, Pug Nasty. Hmm. Ah, you again. And did Lady Luck provide evidence of the dastardly machinations of which you imagined us guilty? Master Pugnacious, you've deceived Nial and your own people. The very people you're supposed to serve. Hmm? More wild accusations? Where's your proof? Hmm? Did you find evidence of trickery? Something genius device hidden somewhere inside Lady Luck, perhaps? Come on. We know we're on to you. Why not drop the act? There's no act to drop. I'm innocent, as the Mistress of Fortune herself will attest. Will she now? Huh. It's not such a bad idea. I hear she's the one who passes judgment on legal matters around here. How does a trial sound? Indeed. Hmm. Sounds a very fine idea indeed. Yes, this is the way of gold, Paul. All matters of state, be they legal, political, or otherwise, are decided by the rule of the sacred dice. As a ruler of this great nation, I am more than willing to submit myself to the judgment of Lady Luck. But know that I am found innocent. I shall treat your attempts at sedition with the gravity that they deserve. You will be punished for tri crimes against the state. Do you accept my terms? Hmm. Sure. They will begin the preparation right away. Come to the square of the appointed at the appointed time. Can we just go there now? I really don't want to wait. All right, time for the main event. I'll leave this to you if you don't mind, Roland. Sure. Sure. I was hoping you'd say that. My it's main event time. Preparations are complete. The trial can get underway as soon as you have confirmed that you are ready. Well, shall we begin? Begin the trial. Very well, if you would please take your places. I really wish you guys would let me go to the casino and gamble a little bit with this new uh, cheating device. Could use some money, you know, just a little bit. I hereby convene the trial by fortune of Master Pugnacious, a.k.a. Pugnasty, Grand High Roller of Goldpaw. Being the defendant, his eminence will be unable to preside over his hearing, as such it falls to me to discharge his duties. I hope you will forgive my doubtless comes the efforts in the most unfamiliar role. A trial is underway. With the Grand High Roller in the dock, no less. What in the world could have happened? Um, why are you dressed like that, Roland? Because this is a court of law. I don't... I, I see you put your suit back on. The defendant, Master Pugnacious, Grand High Ruler of Goldpaw, bows his head before Lady Luck and submits to her judgment in this matter. <laughs> he stands accused of dereliction of duty, specifically the knowing deception of his people. If the prosecution would like to begin by making its case, I intend to improve this court. I tend to... Im I tend to prove to this court... The Master Pernation did knowingly and willingly, with the aid of a network of his most trusted retainers, defraud the very people with whose care he is entrusted. Further, I will show that he distributed di devices among his accomplices, which were used to carry out deception on a grand scale through the manipulation of dice rolls. <laughs> I admit, for a game that's technically supposed to be in the range for kids, they use really big words. I do not... I do not doubt that you have found evidence of some trifling chicanery among lower-level officials, but to allege that this administration as a whole is complicit in such behavior is preposterous. I do not, have not, and will never engage in dishonest practices of any kind. To accuse me of such defame to my character and call my good name into question. Perhaps you will permit those present to withhold judgment on the matter of your innocence until I have presented my proof? Roland offers up the set of signed instructions as proof. But... But, what is the meaning of this? I think you know very well. After all, this document was written by you, was it not? 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the prosecution's key ex exhibit. Written instructions for the assembly of manipulative device, uh, die, <laughs> manipulatable dice, clearly signed by Master Benatius. Does the accused have anything to say in his defense? N no, no. Only that no, my no. prior outburst was merely an expression of shock at the brazenness of this shameless act. I have never seen this document in my life. To stoop to the fabrication of evidence is a pitiful tactic indeed. It is a forgery, plain and simple. Why don't we let Lady Luck be the judge of that? By all means. Seems that both sides are satisfied to entrust judgment on the matter to the Mistress of Fortune. May the die rule stand as the undisputed word of truth. Lady Luck, grant us an even number if this evidence be false. If it be otherwise, let the number be odd. Time to show the people of Goldpaw just how badly we've been they've been misled. Evidence is judged to be, be false. false. Lady Luck has, has spoken. Right to your majesty. Ha! Oh. <clears throat> That's a big skeptical. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, the uh, die. Something is wrong with the die. Which brings us to the crux of the prosecution's case. That Master Pugnacious knowingly manipulated Lady Luck. <gasps> Whoa! No! Yeah, with this remote control thingy. Uh-oh. How you doing now, Pugnasty? But! But this is... By the use of the remote control, the outcome of Lady Luck's die rolls can be readily manipulated. The prosecution was able to visit the place where these devices are manufactured and procure one for its own purposes, namely the demonstration of this fraud. Master Pugnacious deliberately kept the taxes high and stole Niall's forest from him, and all using this horrible trick. Master Pugnacious. C -c -c can this really be true? Cheat! Deceiver! Shame on you. You're the Grand High Ruler. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Oh. Oh, God. He's been doing... He's been dabbling in other things. All that I did, I did for Gold Paw. I had to make my nation rich. Richer than any other. It was the only way. The bond with his people is weakening. Soon it'll be time. Interesting. Oh. Oh, is this his kingmaker? What's that? It's the kingmaker, Long Fang. He doesn't look happy. Oh, Long Fang, here in the city. But why? Master you Pugnacious, huh? your right to rule has been tested and found wanting. You're Long Fang, aren't you? My plan is complete. Your king's bond is my. <laughs> Wait! Oh, real wild kingdom. Don't like this. Don't like, don't like, don't like, but if this is a story mission, then this guy's got to be fairly weak. Huh? Butcher, baker, kingmaker. Yeah. Is, is he actually a butcher and a baker? I, I'd, I'd be impressed. Huh? Where are we? 
Slip. It's an interdimensional dimension, in it? And if we don't do something, it'll eat up this whole kingdom. What? What? Do we have to stop Longfang? You ain't wrong there. You're not wrong there, my boy. Come on, let's knock some sense into old Longy. R Riley. Wrongy. You're just silly. That's just ain't just the Kingmaker. It's the Kingmaker gone dual. Dual Ali. A blessed realm wrecker. We like that, man. So, Will does away. He's lost his marbles in it, which means we can keep a lid on. What happens to power you can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out at you. Places where it comes flying aren't exactly the right places to wallop. Hey, don't worry about it. You know where these special spots are? Thanks to yours. Bond with yours, purely you go to spot them with no problem. Yeah! Do your worst! Realm Wreckers are kingmakers that have lost control of their enormous power and run wild as a result. The power escapes from them in bright glowing bursts. The points from which the energy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attacks. So if you focus your salt on them, you'll deal a lot more damage. What am I playing? Him again. I'm counting on you. I may, uh, Higmakers are mysterious entities that absorb the power of Kingmakers, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them are gathered. They're born from items in, into which a Kingmaker has instilled its power, so if you smash up anything a Kingmaker creates, you might just find some. Uh, when enough of them have appeared, a gold circle will surround them, and they'll beckon you over to press aid and call on their always impressive assistance. <laughs> Higgledy Kingmakers, Higmakers, if you will. You only get them in interdimensional dimensions. One more volley of fireballs. Yo, boy. Can you one more volley of fireballs, please? I want to see this thing you do. I'm counting on you. Fireballs? See what these kingmakers can do. Come on. Up with you. There we go. Let's see what you guys can do. Oh boy. A fireproof bear, not the flame face is breath in there. I don't think I need to attack this he's playing, but whatever. Oh, is he actually destroying parts of the map? Taking him down before using the the Higmakers, but I I I wanted to see want to see what they did. 
pugnacious? What's going on, man? This... This here's the square, ain't it? Oh, it's Batu. Never mind. Phew, back. I suppose that means Long Feng really has calmed down, for now at least. Guess we better tie up some loose ends, huh? Take a stash, you're not a king no more. I have done the unforgivable. My desire to lift my kingdom out of poverty became an all-consuming greed. That weakness made me vulnerable, and he exploited it. Who was he? The one who stole your king's bond. He came to me some months ago. He promised secret knowledge, knowledge of ways in which our nation might be yet greater. In return, he sought high office. It was he who suggested the dice be manipulated, who gave me the means by which it might be done. When did it fall under his spell? And how could I have allowed such a thing to happen? We managed to calm your kingmaker down, but without your king's bond, will, uh, will things here be okay? You have bought us little time. He will sleep a while yet. But in time, he will reawaken, and in the absence of the bond, he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. But why curse his scaly pate? There ain't a jot or rhyme or reason for such wanton savagery. Not now, she... Can't have a kingdom without a kingmaker. Master Pugnacious, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond, will you help us? Oop. I gotta unlock the door, one sec. I haven't even introduced myself properly. I'm Evan Pettywisk of the House of Tildrum. I formed a pact with the Kingmaker of the Cradle of Light and mean to found a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? So this is what I sensed in you. It was plain to me from the first that I met. You're no ordinary child. What is this you propose? I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that no one else has... I hit A too fast. I'm sorry. I'll do all that I can, of course. I fear that he who stole my king's bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. This being so, we must stand together with our brother nations and lose all the, or lose all that most dear to us. It's a king and he's a pug. Ah, with this in mind, I mean to return Nihal's forest to him. Indeed, I mean to return all that I stole. Word of my decision has been sent to Nihal already, of course. Thank you. Really? Thank you so much, Master Pugnacious. The Paul will rise again and its people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. Ooh, level ups for everybody. And we gotta go talk to Niel and get his fars back to him, but we will do that next time. So for more news and information on what's going on or what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Visibility is our greatest foe. Let's help expand the Slax universe. It's just funny starting off for now. Until next time, folks, take care.